So now that I'm a sophomore and pretty confident in my career choice, I figured it was high time to determine where the jobs are at as far as which fields need mathematicians, what, what kind of industries are hot right now and in demand for them, what education levels are required or preferred, and what additional skills make applicants to those jobs more competitive. So this is what I'm currently working with. I have a couple things that I'm concerned with today. The big one is whether which. the industry requires advanced degree or whether a bachelor's is sufficient. And if a master's isn't required, are there a lot of jobs that still prefer advanced degrees? Additionally, what fields are in want of mathematicians? And additionally, which I might save for another video, uh, whether the jobs are concentrated in particular areas and if they coincide with my wife's uh, PhD school preferences because she'll be finishing her fellowship and I'll be finishing my bachelor's at approximately the same time. So it'll be pretty relevant. So I spent about an hour, hour and a half or so um, looking at jobs on uh, websites like Monster and Indeed and ZipRecruiter. And what I found wasn't especially surprising. Uh, more than anything, it just kind of confirmed suspicions that I already had. So I looked at about 40 job listings that explicitly desired mathematicians or people in very, very similar fields like data science. So about half the jobs uh, said that a bachelor's was a minimum. A further quarter said that a master's was minimum and the final quarter said that a uh, PhD was minimum. And about probably a third of the ones which said a bachelor's was minimum, they preferred an advanced degree like a master's degree. So again, not really surprising. Um, why would an employer choose a, someone with a bachelor's degree over a master's degree if they have the choice, right? With that being said, there were still quite a few jobs that only required a bachelor's and made no mention of higher degrees as long as um, that applicant had a lot of work experience in, in various things. So it, it makes a strong argument for, for getting an advanced degree, but I don't see it just having a bachelor's as being extremely limiting as long as you have, you know, the work experience to go along with it. Uh, a couple other noteworthy things that um, a lot of employers required was a lot of familiarity with programming with Python, R, JavaScript, C++, things like that, working with large data sets, uh, none of that's really surprising. A lot of the uh, job titles are data scientists, data analysts, and things like that. So it's not surprising they have a large amount of information and they want to, you know, decipher it in a way that's profitable to their business. That's, you know, that's applied math right now, at least in the industry. So a lot of them also mentioned stuff like predictive algorithms. Again, not surprising, which is something that um, already interest, interested me as a uh, potential research topic, so that's cool. And a lot of them also wanted uh, someone who's very uh, well-versed in statistics, so again, not surprising. So as far as geographical location, they're uh, pretty spread out across the states. A lot of them, no surprise, are in large cities and near Silicon Valley. I would assume mainly because there's a higher population there, but also because that's where all the big companies are. And the big companies are the ones with big data and data mining projects and the ones who have the most to potentially benefit from data science and data mining. So there's that. Um, I did find a couple in um, Nashville and uh, South Florida, which is nice. I didn't look for Auburn, or I had those three cities in mind mainly because I'll be finishing uh, my, my bachelor's a little bit before my wife will be done with her two-year fellowship with uh, her company in Tampa. That'll be a whole other decision-making process. If I'm gonna try and do, if I decide to do a master's, if I wanna do it in the same place she's doing her PhD, or if I'm willing to live away from her and do it somewhere else, that might have a more, a more particular uh, specialty that I'm interested in. I don't know, that's a whole other thing. But right now, I think I'm gonna start strongly considering a master's program somewhere. Beyond that, I'll save for another video, but I'll have to start looking into what makes a math graduate applicant more competitive. I assume that's going to include really good grades, high GRE test scores, and also some undergraduate research. So since I'm going to be at USF summer of 18, then I'll have to look at how that works. So I hope this video was of some benefit to you. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.